But <laughs> welcome guys back to another episode of Write This Down. Write This Down. Write This Down. I brought some episode. Stuff right now. 10? No. Nine. No, 11. 11? Wasn't 10? Oh. No. No, this is 10. Was it 9? Happy Holidays? I don't like Why the can't we keep track of our own? I don't like the glare. I look like an old man like this. Um, I got you a present. No, I I took back the present after that face. Is it food? <laughs> Close your eyes. Obviously, this channel is not sponsored by Duncan, but we still love them. I got you a donut. Aww. Ooh. Ooh, right? That's their new Stroop Ruffle. Stroop Ruffle. What's it called? Stroop Ruffle. It's Bavarian. Well, these are actually really good. You know those? There's more calories in that than that whole donut. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, Duncan came out with a bunch of new, new stuff, year, guys. Same so, um, yeah, so we're gonna be talking about a couple things, guys. We're gonna be talking about uh, do a little, do a little. Uh, what's it called? Pre recap here. Yeah. We're, we're gonna be talking about uh, New Year's resolutions. Uh, we're gonna be talking about how to handle difficult people in your life. No, that was that was for you. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, writing this down. Where in the world is Lupe, Lupe Rody Foodie? Um, I wrote down difficult people, aka Lupe. And then obviously you guys already know we love the life questions that we will get into in a moment. So, New Year's resolutions. I don't like them. I don't either. I like to set goals, but I also give myself the space to not achieve those goals. Explain further. Um, I don't like to, I have, my whole life, I have been very, 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 very hard on myself. I have felt that I have always had to work three times harder than the person next to me, um, just from lack of support systems and everything else, that I'm actually allowing myself to just be. I love that for you. Yeah. And I love I, that for you. Guess what? I love that for me too. Mm -hmm. And I love that for you. And I hope I'll that... I love this donut for me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, everybody went through... Um, well, most people went through a spiritual awakening in 2020. Yep. Um, 2021 was basically just... Uh, the 2020 part two? Yeah. The casino just taking more of your money. And then what was the meme? The 2022 is like... Yeah. What is it? It's... When you realize that 2022 was pronounced 2020... Two. Yeah, like 2022, like T-O-O. -O. Like also? Like, here we go. And as things, uh, unfortunately, are ramping up again across the country, um, especially here at home. I know. Lupe's leaving me. Little Lupe agrees. <laughs> um, it's a great time to uh, set those goals and um, to make sure... People always forget to work on their mental health and um, mm -hmm. just their mind, you know, uh, New Year's resolutions has always been mostly tied to going to the gym and working on the body, which is fine. You can do that as well, uh, but your body can't get out of bed if its mind is just jump next completely. Time? No, that's my fat booty that's skirted. Thank you. I guess I need to add something else to my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Planet it Fitness. Sounded like the jump, it sounded like the, the cat jumped no, up. That's just my fat leg that moved the other chair. Oh, okay. so, yeah, so... All right, going to the gym today. Uh, no, I definitely agree with that. I think that everybody focuses on the physical aspect yeah. of New Year's resolutions or some sort of physical, tangible thing that they can do. But I think that mental health is definitely a big thing to to think about. And obviously, it's become so prevalent in the last couple of years because of the pandemic and because so many people have been experiencing mental health problems like never before or never, I shouldn't even say that, not never before, never talked about. Yeah. That's what we should they, say. They were always there. They've always Bubbling. been there. It's like a, it's the one account that you don't want to have compound interest. Yeah. And it's just <gasps> mental health is wow, one you of with the fi Have you been watching financial TikTok? You got a lot no. of financial. Really? What did I say earlier? Oh, I forget, but I remembered it was financial. Really? Yeah, what did you say? Um, the, I don't know. Something like, I don't know. I don't know. Drink your coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, it's well, it's, uh, I love analogies. To, you do? To, to, <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 
excuse me? <laughs> oh, I almost Anyways. said something. I almost said something. <clears throat> um, but Anyways. yes, uh, it's, it, that's also important, guys. Um, because, let's be honest, um, how many people get gym memberships? And mm. by the time it hits mid-January, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, I'll start next Monday. So I told Justin, my boyfriend, for those of you that don't know, that I want to start boxing again. Because I used to box heavily yeah. all the time. Well, you still box. Yeah, box in, box out, you know. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, she just... Never mind. Mm, good, <laughs> good, good notes. There was, so much, there was so much said there with no audio. Okay, yeah. so I had said I wanted to start boxing again. And literally, the first thing that comes out of his mouth is another gym membership. You're, you're damn skippy. And I was like, can I help you? Yeah. Sounds like you better mind your own business. Yeah. Oh, no. Hi, my name's Lindsay. Have we met before? <laughs> it's like, you better run. Yeah. So, but I, this is the thing. Yeah. I like, though, one thing about the new year, that it does give some people the push that they need or mm -hmm. um, what's the word that I'm looking for? They need that motivation to start something new. Mm -hmm. I think that that's awesome. But I, I posted this on my social medias, guys, too, if you follow me. I don't like the opposite side of the pressure that people feel like they need to change something or they need to lose weight or they need to make a New Year's resolution. You don't have to make a New Year's resolution. You can start in June if you want. You can make a change whenever you want. Yeah. So it's kind of, it, it's, I mean, everything is subjective. It's person to person, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like some people love it. It gives them a lot of motivation. Some people feel super pressured and it gives them anxiety and they don't even want, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. that's fine too. Like, yeah. just... You know, hands up. And she really believes this, guys, because off camera, when we were talking, <laughs> I was playing devil's advocate <clears throat> on that, and she wasn't having any of it. So, <clears throat> uh, but it is true. And also, um, be supportive of people in your life. Um, you know, don't be that person that is. Uh, there's a couple things that I hate. Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is. Uh, you know, those people that would be like, oh, the gyms are going to be packed. I'm not going to be able to work out. Like, these people are trying to improve themselves. Like, you should be... Oh, if you're, I if, used to be one of those people, though. Like, when I was always in the gym, I'd be like, oh. Yeah. But that's because I, like, I don't want to say I hate people. But, like, <laughs> I actually like to work out. I'll, I like to work out in a group setting. Like, I like a class. Yeah. But when I'm on the floor... Like, and there are too many people, like, around me. I don't know. I have, like, social anxiety or something. That's okay. That's fine. Um, and I'm like, that's my machine. And the people are like, is your name on it? I'm like, actually, I did. I carved it. <laughs> it's it, uh, it, same thing with, like, when it comes to uh, St. Patrick's Day. Right? Everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. And I, and, and I love, trust me, I love my Italians. But it's the ones that would be like, I don't drink beer. I drink. Or whatever. They're like, tomorrow's St. Joseph's Day. First of all, it's two days after. It's March you know, 19th. Well, they, Get it right. They do, some people pregame. No, it's two days after. Some people pregame. Like my dad, who will wear orange on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. So it's like, just enjoy the moment. <clears throat> enjoy the, uh, the space that you're in. And just be happy for everybody. I don't know why we're... Uh, I don't know. I think we all have like just childhood trauma that we just lug around for the rest of our lives and we always try to like We do. I learned put, that in school. Put people down and it's just it's exhausting. It's exhausting. I had to uh, over the New Year's um like weekend, I had to like motivate people. I had to tell people to get out of their own way. It's like just, you know, like don't You had be... a heavy weekend, my friend? I did. Listen, guys. So many I'm not saying I'm like Mother Teresa. But I am a pillar of strength, motivation, acceptance. You know and, what I call an anomaly. And it's it's like as some people just need to be told a million times that they're amazing and just go for things. And you know, though, that reminds me, though, the people that help the most mm. get the least help. It's true. And you always got to check. That's why Nobody you see those me. memes. You don't even help me. I'm like, <laughs> I, I just want to... I just want to cry. You know when I'm downstairs, I'm just crying half the time. No, you're not. First of all, you're playing with the cat. Second of all, I do That's help true. you, so bite me. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So anyways, but no, it's true. They say, like, yeah. check on your strong friends. It's true because I feel like I'm the same. I feel like I'm 
like obviously I have a strong personality. I'm there for a lot of people, but sometimes you know, like I need to. You do have a strong personality. I'm just, I was just going through. I was just going through all like the faces you make and the situations we've been in. Very strong personality. All right. Anyways. How did, I, how did I get in trouble for just reiterating what you said? Because it's the tone and the face. Wow. A very strong It's true. Well, Anyways, all right. It. So I think for the new year, <clears throat> Lupe and I have been talking about this for a while. We're going to start on the podcast. We're going to start to, start to try to break things up into segments more. Mm. And um, so if we do have guests, you know, we'll have them for, you know, 15 minutes and then we'll do another 15 minute segment and we'll do this. So... And, there, and there's um, a there's a way on YouTube also, guys, uh, where we can put things into chapters. I just have to research it a little bit. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. So this is our um, it's an intro. Our our mental health, yeah. our mental health intro. Yeah. I think we should do that. Tell us what you guys think, cause the, I the check in. We'll call it the check in. I like that because I think we should do. Let I write like that. The check in. I like that. Let's write that down. We're check just, in. We're just checking in. Let's check in. Yeah. Checking in. Check. As I yelled to the corner. I was going to say. <laughs> All right. But. I really like that Martha's Vineyard thing. Thank you. That's yeah, cute. You know, I've never been. You've never invited me every year that you go with your family. I have not received one invitation. You want to go this year? No. I'll be on the road. Segway. We call that a segue. On the road. Anyways. All right. So we are going to talk about Lupe's travels. So for those of you that don't know, um, Lupe is my lovely roommate when he is here. But you're going to be seeing a lot of our podcasts that are going to be more like virtual yeah. between him and I because he wants to be anywhere that I am not. So, <laughs> well, what's the flip side? You don't, you just don't want to travel with me. Well, that too. I want to travel how you travel. So you I want to travel bougie. Like yeah. I'm not trying to sleep in my car. Uh. And <laughs> You're like, I got a hotel room for three months and I'm broke. And I'm broke. <laughs> and yeah. I'm broke. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we want to talk a little bit about where Lupe is going to be doing, his travels, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Because you guys know this is like um, Rody Foodie's sister channel. Yeah. I love it. When are you going to do makeup on my face? Guys, for makeup, the first thing Lindsay said is I want to paint you like a pumpkin. Okay. Hold on, please. Wait, Wait no. we should give each other enough space and respect to let us finish sentences. Um, go for it. First of all, uh, pumpkins are a certain shape. Oh, so you, you, now you're going to fat shame me? No, no, you're fat shaming No, me. you're shaming me saying that I was fat shaming you, but I was not fat shaming you. When did I ask you about no, this pumpkin? No, listen. When you, did I ask you? Did it happen to be the week or two before October 31st? Listen, I know that you're taking like psychology classes and you're trying to use little ways but it's not going to work. You can't use a psychology reverse card. Okay? There is no such thing. Literally, if anything it has to do with psychology. the fact that you're bald, I can paint your whole head. Um, I can't control my baldness. So that now, so now you're that. bald shaming me? No, I'm not bald shaming you. I'm just saying that it would have made a is that great... A no. It would have made a just great... Just put the word behind I shaming on anything. Bald, <laughs> I follow and I had, we're, all right, we're supposed to be talking about your travels here. Yeah. But anyways, no, I follow yeah, a bald my, makeup artist... And she had me, she makes her, she uses her whole head as something. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. I was like, I can do that for Lupe. So, you guys, look at that. so I was like, oh, done. I should make him into a pumpkin, but you know. It's all done. Um, so yeah, so for my travel. I don't know, there's a <laughs> See, that's not good that I flinch when you come at me. Which I don't know why, because I've never actually hit you before. Um... He's like, yeah, I believe this. The, all right, so where I'll be traveling, if anybody's in this area, please uh, comment down below. Let me know where I need to eat. Or so, if you've been or something. Going down. Going to hopefully meet up Write with Bree. All right, so we're going to go to Jersey. N uh, New York. Oh, you're going to go to New York. She's a New Yorker now. She's already in New York? I think so. Didn't she get the new place? I didn't think so. Did she? Oh, then it looks like I'm going to Jersey. Um, I and know. then I want to stop by uh, Philadelphia. Yep. I need to try Philly cheesesteak. Not one of the big ones. Not, not Pat's or Gino's. Not, not Pat's or Gino's. Only because you've been there before. I haven't been there before. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I've tried both of them. But I'm saving that for down the road. Okay. Um, from there, I am going to Nashville. Love that for you. I am going to meet up with uh, my buddy Johnny Gates, local Rhode Islander, was on The Voice. Really nice guy. Uh, he was I have some the, friends that live in um. He was Nashville. in the wedding party. Really? Yeah. Um, actually, my friend... A friend of a friend, 
but she's my friend now too. My friend Kelsey, who's in Philly that we asked about, yeah. her roommate in college was my roommate when we went to Mexico for the... Um, That's just a recipe for... For her roommate in college was my roommate when we went to Mexico for her bachelorette party. So we yeah. became good friends. But she lives in... She, Katie Frank Music, look her up. Oh, she's a singer. She's a singer, yeah. She does shows and stuff Kate, like that. Katie Frank? Katie Frank, yeah. Hmm. Try to go to one of her shows or something. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna look her up on, on the gram. Yeah. Uh, from there, I'm going down to, um, uh, to South Carolina. I'm gonna meet with two friends. I see. Uh, one of them is actually Not someone that, I, so, <laughs> I, someone that I met on YouTube. We're gonna be doing like a collaboration video. Really cool guy. I'm actually gonna talk to him to see if we can do a sounds uh, like the episode of a this sounds like a the beginning of a criminal minds episode there's someone i met on youtube that yeah. i'm gonna go meet in south carolina uh, people are so guys stop being scared of life i have okay ha i've couch surfed i've hitchhiked am i still here exactly we'll talk that's another episode but this guy uh timothy ward on youtube um Sorry, Timothy Ward. I'm not saying that you're yeah. going to like stab my friend or anything, but please don't because I will find you and <laughs> no one's scarier than me. He, uh, that's true. He, um, he's a huge advocate for the whole uh, great resignation and um, telling you to, you know, just follow your dreams because you don't want to wake up 80 one day and be like, what do the heck know, happened? Do you know, did you see, um, I keep interrupting your No, that's things, okay. But did you see how many people actually quit their jobs? 4.5 additional Americans left their jobs in November 2021. Crazy. That is on top of millions of people that have been leaving the previous Wait, 4.5 what? 4.5 million hardworking Americans. Oh, okay. 4.5 additional people left their jobs. Additional. On yeah. top of everyone. My old job, I won't say where I worked, but... Uh, two more people have left. And pe my question... People keep texting me, be like, hey, you started a trend. I was like... Okay. Yeah. I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But you know what's funny, though, is I'd be interested to see, did they quit their job and go to another corporate job, or did they quit corporate America? Did they start... I want to know what their next move ha was. Half and half. Okay. Because, like, I quit... I shouldn't say I quit because that's not like I left a career and I made a career change. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I still have technically a corporate job, even though it's nonprofit. Here's the thing. If that makes sense. You have a lot of companies. Um, you have smart companies and you have dumb companies. Dumb companies. It takes so much money to train and onboard a new employee. Uh, why not just pay them that extra money? so that they don't quit. Like a lot of people, we're really, we're really easy to please uh, us workers, right? Um, well, some. Yeah, but it's, uh, the smart ones are saying, okay, yeah, maybe the CEO won't buy three yachts, maybe he'll just buy two yachts this year so that we can retain not only people, like talent. You're losing talent over 10 grand extra a year. I mean, come on, guys. This is, it's just ludicrous. And so many of these companies have such a fat middle, uh, middle management department that you don't really need anymore because, you know, most back in the day, everyone had to be in the office and managers had to manage those people, but we all work from home now. Mm -hmm. So this cost savings, right? Uh, there's just, that's such a other podcast for another day. I Write can, it down. I can go Write in. Write it down. I, I will. I will. It, no, it's it's always in here. So, um, so anyway, so meeting up with uh, him, um, going down to Sorry a uh, <laughs> birthday party down in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. I've never been. You've never been to Fort Lauderdale? I love Fort Lauderdale. Actually. I know. Yeah. So you gotta go to Fat Tuesdays. Really? Yeah, because they got I, those. I, um, I do know about Fat Tuesdays. Yeah. The. Um, I literally woke up. All right. <laughs> I got a funny, funny, funny story about Fat Tuesdays. So you can like buy these things at Fat Tuesdays. Um, yeah, they and, have them like, like in on, Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, and you can bring on the beach, like whatever. All right. So me and my girlfriends were there um, for her birthday, and we just got absolutely trashed. And literally woke up on the beach, like didn't know what happened. And this random couple next to us was like, 
oh my god, you guys are alive. Like, I thought, <laughs> they were like, we thought you guys were in the water at one point. We thought you, got, oh, you guys were going to drown. We uh, thought we were going to have to, like, go save you. And yeah. I was like, thanks for telling us, like, now that we, like, sobered up, like, hours later. I mean, we started drinking at, like, 10 a.m. Yeah. Like, it was, like, an early, like, I whatever. can't day drink because then I take a nap and then the day is gone. Well, that was a thing. Like, I think we probably woke up around, like, 4 or 5 on the beach. But then, like, they wanted to go out that night. And I was like, <laughs> I just can't do I it. I can't. I can't do both. You know why? Because my <laughs> thought process, and it's different now, though. Like I can probably do it now, because I don't drink that much. But before it was like, oh, we're drinking that sweet elixir. Uh, what is it? Uh, elixir? Hit my tongue. Oh. I'm ready to just let's keep this party going. But you can do that from 11, 12 midnight to 2 a.m. But put those 11 a.m., noon, 1 p.m. What do you do after a night of drinking? You go pass out. You pass out and you go to bed. You're just doing mm -hmm. it 12 hours earlier. Yeah. So that's why I just can't do it. Unless it's like, I've, I've been really liking like uh, those like sodas and, and um, seltzers, like with the vodka, like the high oh, noons. Yeah. I love those. Yeah, those are good. Um, so going to be meeting, how about this? I'm going to be meeting people that I haven't seen in over <laughs> like a decade and a half. Like old old friends. That'll be fun. Yeah, that's, that's gonna cool. be fun. I it's I'm excited to see uh, how everyone's been doing. That's where you're going for Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it's my buddy's uh, 40th birthday. Um, <gasps> I, I I wasn't able to make his wedding uh, a few years back, so I told him I don't care what's going on. Like I'm there. Covito or not? Uh, no, this is prior. This is probably like actually more. It was probably like eight. he got married like six, seven, eight years ago. Oh. And I just couldn't go. I couldn't go. I forgot with the time. So I pro I made a promise to myself, promised him. I The one way to make sure that you absolutely keep your plans is to spend money towards it. So I booked hotels. So now I'm going. <laughs> I spent money for a hotel. I am going. He's like, I am going. No, I get that though. Yeah. Um. Wait a minute. So I want to know what the timeline is for all this. Like, how long you staying in Jersey? How long you staying in Philly? How long you staying in Nashville? Like, people want to know. Like, yeah, it's, it's obviously you can follow follow um follow our the Rody Foodie the page Rody Foodie, too yeah. because you'll see them eat. So a lot of these are drive bys. So um, New York, that's just going to be lunch. Yep. Um, I'll probably stay in Philly, depending. I don't know what the heck's happening. Couple happened. days. Go to Tent City. Park your car. That's why. Philly, Philly was a huge maybe. Um, and then Nashville, I might stay a day or two. Uh, oh, you South stay Carolina. A few days in Nashville. Come but I, on. but I'm coming back. This is all because I, I need to be down in Florida by For, the 15th. Oh, okay, all right. So this That's is why, why, which is funny because we're actually gonna be in Florida at the same time. Yeah, can you guys imagine that? <laughs> I'm gonna be in Miami. And well, how far away is Fort Lauderdale? It can't be that far. No, it's honestly like an hour and a half. Okay. Where you guys? Well, don't tell me where you're staying on camera, but okay. Um, Actually, no. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm staying. <laughs> so listen, me Such and my a best friend. Snapshot of your life. Yo, seriously, me and my best friend are going down there now. Two of our good friends live down there. Yeah. So we're right. gonna be staying with either of them, but like one of our girlfriends mm. like is doing like she's got some plans, whatever, and yeah. then the other one like um, our friend James has to work, but it's fine because I'm uh, we're going down on like a late Friday afternoon. I still got to work like Monday, Tuesday. He's like, oh, we can do stuff Saturday, Sunday. But he's like, I got to work. And I was like, well, I got to work too. So I'm basically like going to Miami. Yeah. But I'm, so like I'm going to be working from yeah. home yeah. in my friend's apartment. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's okay. Hey, that's that's how it should be. It's cool. It's, but it's going to be lit. Yeah. I mean, just because James is my, no, <laughs> James is my foodie friend. Like I love him. He's great. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. So actually we met because he was my, he was my first intern. Um, at my second job in, in oh, Springfield. No. Oh no! No, no. I, didn't um, I didn't mean him. He's so funny. He he is a blast. He used to um he used to come like and stay on my apartment at my apartment all the time, and I would make fun of him because instead of just staying on the couch like a normal person, he would take all the cushions off the couch and he would make like a bed a on bed. the ground. And I was like, bro, what is wrong with See, you? See, I can't do that because my my hev just, my heavy weight would break the the things apart like a cookie james is also like my little like little i always say he's the little brother i never wanted just like ryan they're the, they're the, i've heard you say that about ryan that's why yeah i, I was gonna say but pretty much the same thing like james is four or five years younger than me too mm -hmm. so it's like yeah so he's like a little brother to me yeah um so we'll be down there uh i think our i think our dates uh overlap like two days or so yeah, I'm going to be hitting up some food spots, though, because yeah. I send James food things all the time, and I'm like, I'm just going down there to eat. What are you going to Miami for, to eat? Yeah. What days are you down there? 
I come home the 19th. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, so Honestly, we should meet up to do a podcast. That would be kind of cool, actually. That That's not sick. a bad idea. Um, so what time are you getting, you're staying, you're getting, you're leaving the 19th or you're getting down there the 19th? I'm getting home. I'm coming home the 19th. I'm going to So what time 14th. do you? Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. So we'll be there, like, together. That's, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I check in on the 15th. Okay. That's... I had to I had to work it out for her, guys, because she's a little slow. So from Florida, uh, believe it or not, I am actually going to be booking it. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I have a collaboration to do with another YouTuber in Tampa. So I'll be linking up with her in Tampa. Oh. So that's just going across. Wait, when are you going to Tampa? Uh, it depends whenever I leave for okay. Lauderdale. Okay, so me and my girlfriend that are going to Miami, I have a job. She doesn't right now. She's an employee. <laughs> um, but you know what they call that now? Uh, is she having fun? Yeah. Fun employed. Yeah, fun. I love that. I just saw that fun on employed. TikTok. Yeah. She is. She's just living life, and it's yeah. great because actually, um, I'm not gonna tell you who it is. Just like whatever. But um, she might have a sh she she might be working something maybe to work in miami like something whatever so there might be you know going down there for you know like her thing whatever yeah but it's funny because where's she going after miami tampa tampa you want somebody funny on your channel she is oh she's a boricua she's gonna she's gonna come oh out hot you hard God. she's so great though i've had too much exposure <sighs> love her, love I, her. Have, I have ptsd from me? From Poricuas and Dominicanas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, I yeah. So, uh, Tampa. And then straight from Tampa, I'm Tampa's going. Blast, though. I am driving straight all the way to Arizona. Um, Yo, which, okay. So, here's, here's a tip for my fun employed friends. Make sure that you're sharing your location with somebody. I do. Yeah, you share it with me. Yeah. Because, no, no, no. This I was. Uh, oh, so, this is for people that don't. <clears throat> I gotcha. This like fast tracked in my mind because when he says things like this, I'm like, holy crap, he's going by himself from Tampa to Arizona. Like, what if something happens? Like, you, you need to track them, whatever. Like, if you guys are, you know, like doing these big travels and you are going alone, like, just make sure you share your location with somebody. You never know. Like, I, I know, like, you're very independent, like, you know. You're very self-sufficient. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Yeah. But Thank you. like I said, I watched too much Criminal Minds. Yeah. Thank you, um, Mom. One, one thing that I did learn from my trip to Vermont is that um, <clears throat> I probably do need to... Uh, they're expensive, though. They're like $350, but I think I might buy it. There's a Garmin thing that uh, uses like military satellites as opposed to cell phone satellites. Where even if, because my phone was going no service, and uh, I share my location with Camilla too, mm -hmm. and I would come back when I would go into town to get like extra firewood or something, I would have a million text well, messages from Camilla. I was going to say, Camilla. I can just picture Camilla being like, I haven't seen you on my <laughs> map in five minutes. <laughs> so I was like, hey, listen, when it says no service, there's literally nothing I can do. Uh, but Ask they, Justin about that. But there is a there is a Garmin thing. Well, I'm, I'm getting it for the trail anyways. I, I just, I'm... You know when you have to buy something, you just kind of push it off until you have to buy it. Mm -hmm. But you should probably just buy it already. Yeah. Um, but it's this thing where um, you can share your location uh, and anywhere in the world. It's going to show you where they are. And you can also uh, receive text messages from it. And you can also send out text messages from it. But it's like the old school way. Like if I need to write you a text, I have to hit like A three times. You know, T9 like the word. old school. Oh. <sighs> Tina and we're a baby. Oh my God. I love it. So that's why I won't be doing a lot of texting. But if you guys send me yes or no questions, I'll be able to answer those. Um, why and? Are you dead? Yeah. <laughs> 911. Nine Wait, what, what? Luke, don't do that. Oh, and another thing too, it has an SOS. So you click that, it's already linked up to like uh, uh, emergency services. They can come find you. Good. Um, so where in Zona are you going? I love Arizona. Yeah, so oh. I'm going, uh, I'm collaborating with another YouTube channel uh, called uh, Elliot Family of Seven. Um, they're the ones that I just did the clubhouse thing with. Wait, they really, they got seven kids? There's seven of them. It's a big family. I can't wait to see yeah. a video well, of you with seven no, children. No, 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 I'm only going to do it with the parents. Oh, come on! Uh, they do vlogs, though. I might, I might pop into their vlogs. Um, Please do. Uh, I forget what city, but oh, that Phoenix. they're probably Phoenix. And I'm going. I'm actually going to a place called Courtside. Courtside. Uh, you know, Arizona. Jenny lives. You know, Jenny. Well, 
Ten, yeah, technically she still lives in Arizona. But yeah, she lives in Phoenix. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. She's like, she's home. Phoenix but. is like underrated. From Yo, what Phoenix I is a blast. Phoenix, um, what's next to it? It's like the party city. Why can't I think of the name of it? Uh, not Scottsdale. Yes, Scottsdale. Oh, is it Scottsdale? Yep, Scottsdale. But Tucson. Scottsdale is, I think, the the money city, right? Yeah, that's, that's where, where like, have a little... That's where like baseball players go on their like yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Bottle service girls, whatever. Yeah, that's um, where they keep their girlfriends. No shade. Yeah. Make your make your bag, girls. Yeah. Um, but no, Tucson, um, was Jenny's job. After we worked in Springfield together, she worked at a station in Tucson, and actually, my aunt. Is, retires there in the winter time. She lives in Narragansett oh, cool. in the summer. And she said no Florida. She's like Arizona. Yeah, but you know what? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's so awesome. Like Tucson's so cool. They have like so much like um, Native American history. Yeah. they have really awesome. They have one of the oldest churches. Even if you're not religious, it's really cool to go to. Um, I lit a friend. I lit a candle for my friend who passed away there. Um, what's, like what, just, what's that gem the Native Americans use? You can go to um, it's like light to a low. powwow, like a real powwow. So cool. Do you know what I'm talking about? They, have, they have that, that stone that's like light blue that's in a lot of their jewelry. Turquoise. Is it turquoise? Yeah. I love that. I might I might get a ring. I've been wanting to buy myself a ring, not for my... Two's on super south though, so like it's like super on... Like it's four... It's, I think it's four hours from Phoenix. But if you're not like doing any, I was gonna say, well, not that you're not doing anything, yeah. but like if you don't have immediate plans to leave, you should go to Tucson. It's I have, so cool. I have trained my mind, body, and soul to drive 16 hours straight. All right. I love that for you. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, you really should go to Tucson, though. Yeah. Well, it, I need to be back. So, this is where a curveball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, all right, I got, wait, I'm writing it down. Aisha? Okay. So from there, um, and what it is, it's it's called Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. And what that is, is... Rubber Tramp or Stamp? No, Rubber... I'm sorry, Rubber Stamp. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> rubber... No, Rubber Tramp. RTR. Yeah, so have you ever seen the movie Into the Wild? No. We're watching that after you pray love. Um, <clears throat> I haven't seen that um, so what it is, it's this huge get together, uh, of like van lifers, RVers, people that live a nomadic lifestyle. They all get together. It's kind of like mini festival ish, but they also put on like workshops and have also you. Also sounds like dead bodies will show up, but go on. Stop it. And, uh, <clears throat> and we're people. You should be trusting <clears throat> people. And we're, no, this is like, it's like a legit event. It's like a festival. So anyways, um, and you're, and depending if you have a van, car, uh, a Subaru, a R RV, a Subaru with a turtle on top, you can, <laughs> you can, uh, <laughs> like that's what it is, right? <laughs> it's called a, a rack, a roof rack. I, I thought they were called turtles. Are they? They might be. <laughs> so anyways, cooler. long story short, uh, it's surrounded by BLM land, not Black Lives Matter land. <laughs> Bureau, cause I, I already knew in your head, so I had a, I'm like, what? Uh, Bureau of Land Management, which is federal land that people oh, can that can camp. We talked on. about this, yeah. You can camp out for two yeah. weeks, right? For fourteen days, you can do fourteen days within a thirty-day cycle. So basically, what people do is they go and then they move to another piece of the land, and you can basically. I'd move love on. to know. We should write this down. Yeah. I'd love to know all the BLM spots in the country. They're they're mostly in the southwest, but there's they're they're across. But you can like where I went in Vermont, that was uh, national forest. You can you can camp there. Basically, you can you can camp? I thought you can't camp in national forests. Yeah. Where do you think I stayed? I don't know. You wouldn't tell me. Yeah, I told you I was going to Vermont to the uh, to the Green Mountain National Forest. No, you didn't tell me the Green Mountain National Forest. You just told me Vermont. And then I saw that you went to a movie, and I was like, all right, he's uh, around people, yeah. so he's fine. Um, I would like to know where all the spots are because... Yeah, I'll show you a map. It's, actually, it's really cool. I was going to say, I feel like that would be really cool. Um, we should talk, that would be, that'd be a cool segment. I'm literally writing this down, yeah. but that'd be a cool segment. Just talk about, like, um, how you map out. Like, I've always said, like, I'd love to take two weeks. Um, I actually mapped it out. Like, I remember it. I mapped it out. I wanted to do a cross-country trip, and... It would just be really cool to see like where you could of stay. Course. Like me and my sister, my young, my I say I call her my little sister. She's literally like fourteen, what we're sixteen months apart. We mapped it out, and what we were going to do was kind of 
what you were doing. This yeah. is when both of us were single and like whatever. We were like, all right, we're gonna take two weeks. We're gonna do this trip. We're gonna just sleep in the car. Yeah. And go to Planet Fitnesses and shower. Shower, workout. And you gotta put in a workout. Yeah. I do. Even if it's a treadmill, ten minutes. But I mean, I would more sit in the massage chair. I do that as well. <laughs> The waterbeds. Oh, the waterbeds. You know what's you know what's fire. frustrating about that? You have to ask them to do it. I wish that there was a way to just turn it on. Mm -hmm. And you have. Ever to tell you when I fell asleep in the waterbed and played? No, this? you have to do the walk of shame to the front desk and be like, "Can you turn on the waterbed?" And they're like, "Yeah." I had no shame asking them, yeah. but I had a little shame. They had to go. They had to wake me up. So when I worked the morning shift and I was in Springfield, we had a Planet Fitness that was right across the street. So it was perfect. After we did the the twelve thirty show, I would go right across amazing. the street and work out. <laughs> One time. I was literally in the bed for an hour and they had to come over and they were like, are you okay? I fell asleep because yeah, I was so tired. Yeah. They only do them in like increments of like eight, 10 minutes. Ten, yeah. I was, I just <laughs> zonked. Can you imagine if someone probably called on you too? I'd be like, there's a lady on bed too. No, they probably like, knew exactly what it was. They were probably like the lady from the news uh, is passed out yeah. in the waterbed. Cause they used to have the show on like, yeah. All right uh, there. Oh my God. <laughs> was that, was like, my, that was my favorite thing. When I used to go to a uh, gym really early, I would take photos of her and send it to her. Um, so from there, cause there's a lot of really cool workshops and, um, as I say, we digress. Yeah. Arizona. Um, and then from there, funny enough, I'm going to be booking it back to Mississippi slash Louisiana because I don't know if I'll be able to, but I, what is Mississippi's Missouri is M O M S M S. Yeah. Um, Mississippi, um, my buddy, Adam, just reminded me, he's like, you know what the first week of February is? Mardi Gras! Hey! And uh, I was like, I've never been. That is one of those things that like I've Yo, always wanted to go. If you don't bring me back Mardi Gras beads because you saw someone's boobs, I'm going to be so mad at you. Um, you this know, is, you sorry, know, this is a family friendly podcast. Yeah, that's a very family friendly podcast. Um, but My niece is like, Mom! Yeah. Um, but. I'll see if I can work that out. I don't know if I can. And then from Mississippi, <laughs> um, I'm working out, hopefully uh, doing one more collaboration with a TikToker in- So I'll uh, see you in June? In, no, no, no. <laughs> in uh, Alabama, which is right next door to Mississippi. And then from there, I got to come back home because I have to do my taxes. So. When, this is your taxes? Um, I have a really good girl. She like, we've talked about this. She writes like- a, she does it. She, she, she looks up. She, she does this. She gets so excited. My father is my tax. My she gets so excited about like when the new laws and rules come out. She's like, did you know you could do this? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm like, let's do it. I love it. Yeah. I'm sorry. My dad was just telling me about that because with my new makeup channel and stuff like that. He was like, you have to save your receipts. Like yeah. I have to fill out like a 1099, like a self-employed thing. Like, Perfect. Do you have to, I was going to say, do you have to do that? Like, but I, my I, dad is like. I save every single receipt and I only use, this is what you should do. I got an itch. I'm no, sorry. This is what I'm you should do. It. Open up a separate credit card and only use it for channel stuff. That's what I do for Roadie Foodie. So when I get, I keep all my statements and my receipts and I go, she goes, okay, I'll take it from you. I said, okay. My dad would be, I'd be like, here dad, here's this weird folder. He'd be like, Lindsay, what is this? Um, but they do have a really cool thing that I probably should have started this year is with... Um, like just start my makeup, so I'm starting it for the new year. Yeah, quick, uh, QuickBooks, where you can actually take a photo of the receipts. Oh, didn't, store... you say you were, didn't you say you were going to show me that? Yeah, but I haven't done it myself, so... Oh, we should, we should do that. Yeah. Um, That's a good idea. So I got to come back for my taxes, and then from there, then I need to decide um, at what point... Uh, I'll be looking to do the Appalachian Trail, um, or if I'm also I'm trying to go with the with the flow of things, guys. So, but like if opportunities pop up, if I have to push it back a year, then I, I'm in no rush. I mean, like, I know life is short, but I know I got a little extra time in this world. Yeah, yeah, not going anywhere just yet. So you were going. So, so <laughs> all right. So we wrote this all down. Let's uh, map this out. We have New York City, Philly, Nashville, South Carolina, uh, birthday in Fort Lauderdale, Tampa. Zona, Mississippi, Louisiana, possibly Mardi Gras, Alabama, and then tax returns. Yeah. That's all in, uh, what is that, six weeks? Right? Damn. Yeah, it's a lot of driving. 
So six weeks. That's so much. That's a lot of driving. I know. That, but I also really thrive oh. on road trips, guys. I love sitting there and thinking and just you processing. Um, I worked out a lot of stuff on my last drive. Um, I feel so much lighter now. Um, and I, I can't wait to see how much uh, lighter I get after, um, you know, seeing all these new places that I've never been to. Because you like, like mentally, like working. You have, you have two things to do. Listen to music and think. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you can't listen to music because the radio stations suck and you've, you've outplayed your, your Spotify playlists, there's only one thing to do is to roll down the windows, turn off the radio and just think. And it's not a... It's not a way to overthink. I know there's a thin, thin line of thinking and overthinking, mm -hmm. right? Processing thinking and overthinking. And it's not about sitting on one thing and overthinking it. It's about going through it and not trying to go around it. And uh, if, you, if you can figure out what that means for you in your own head, I promise you that you will feel light as a feather. I love that. Yeah. Write that down. Yeah. That's a good one. All right. Last All right. segment. Or do you have more? I, I was going to say, no, I don't have more. Let's, okay. Let's. All right, guys. Go. Last rapid segment. Fire, rapid fire questions. Let's do this. Life questions. Random questions. What is a recent fashion trend that you can't stand? You think about it. I'll answer these first to give you a, th because I've written That's them That's coming down. back or like. That you just can't stand. One of, so about. 15 years ago, during the hip-hop years, the early 2000s, big men like myself, even though, remember when you're younger, you're like thinner than you thought you were chubby? Like, I wish Don't I could go even. back to I wish I was fat like I thought I was fat yeah. back then. Yeah, so, because I was going through photos, and I was like, oh my God. I know. I thought, I I was, I thought I was fat. I wasn't. Um, like, bigger guys that wore, like, 2X. I wish I could fit into a 2X now, but that wore 2X, all these skinny dudes were buying 2Xs because all the rappers were wearing 2Xs. And I'm like, guys, please stop doing this. We are out here absolutely dying. And this is before like Amazon really, like Amazon was big in the early 2000s, but it, it wasn't like what it is wasn't today. It, yeah. There was no like- So you had no clothes. Yeah, I had no clothes. I had no clothes. Um, and another trend too is as I wear this is Champion. I really love Champion because it's really good quality. But these these freaking young kids, man, they 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 Gen buy. Z, they buy all the joggers, champion <sighs> joggers. That's what's up. I love them. And they got to get the the. I don't care about logos. I just I care about like quality and craftsmanship. Um, so I'm now gonna... that champion is because champion. Th <laughs> <laughs> so come on, act like you like a professional, like you've been at the Super Bowl before. Jeez, so. Um, cause champion, if you think about it, <laughs> we're just going to leave that. We're not gonna yeah, no, up? this right. is, you gotta right. pretend y'all. All right, let's go. You gotta pretend like you were on TV and someone said F you. And you I would, I would acknowledge it. Have you watched me on television? Um, I'd be like, excuse me. I don't know what that was. But, but. champion was always kind of like a, like it wasn't Nike. It was like a budget version of like, yeah, my grandparents wear. wore it. Yeah. So, and, and these freaking kids have driven up the price on champion. So anyways, those are two things that I, I can't Champion ain't mad about it? No, they love Low it. rise jeans. Miss me with that. Shh. Wait, low rise. Is that? Oh. Low rise jeans. That was like the Paris Hilton, Britney Spears. Oh, uh, yeah, where like, the hips are hip showing. bones. Like, yeah. listen, I am a thick girl. Yeah. I am curvy. Y'all can miss me with that any day. Did you see my one of my TikToks? You probably didn't, but. Yeah, call me if you're thick. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. So I made a TikTok that said, hey guys, according to the new CDC guidelines, if- uh, Stay if home you, if you're sick, but call me over if you're if, sick. Yo, no, I say, come over come if you're thick. Come over if you're thick, yeah. And I was like, don't be a child, follow the rules. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyways. Low okay. rise jeans. Boop. Next, what is something you cannot find hot or attractive no matter how hard you try? I'll, I'll go first. Why would you try? All right, go. Yeah, that it's, uh, don't overthink it. Okay. One of the things that I don't like is and I know that it's pretty sometimes it goes in and out of vogue is uh like being cocky right always trying cocky to cocky and confidence there's a, there's a line there. there there is a line but the, it's a thin line it's a gray line but there is still a line mm -hmm. um it's just being rude and being cocky and things like that I just don't find that attractive whatsoever okay. just being rude 
Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that was trendy. Oh, yeah. Like, um... Like... Like, you know, uh, they went through the whole trend of, like, the Mean Girls, but they all didn't get the, the whole point of the movie. They were trying to be the Mean Girls. Oh, yeah, that people got hit by buses? Yeah, yeah, so... That, <laughs> be that, mean, you will get hit by a bus. Um, I don't know. What is, read the question one more time. What is something you cannot find hot or attractive no matter har, how hard you try? I'm gonna take a pass on that. Let me think on that one. Well, let me ask you a question. Maybe this. What about Crocs? Men in Crocs. You just look stupid. Uh, okay. Crocs uh, are, yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? <sighs> Mine changes. I go through like a. That's a hard question for me because I'm not a huge. I'm an equal opportunity lover too. Like, I. I'm I... not a huge celebrity. I follow celebrities and whatever, but I'm not somebody that's like celebrity struck. Yeah. Is that so? My last big celebrity crush, and I, I was talking to Camilla about this the other day, is uh, Jennifer Lawrence. And is she cute? Absolutely. But what gets me with her is her personality. If you ever watch her, excuse me, if you ever watch her like in interviews, she's so like zany, energetic, she is funny. enthusiastic. Just she got married weird, in whatever, funny. You know? God damn it, she's married? You just uh, ruined me. And she's me. pregnant. Like, what? You just So there's still a chance. <laughs> she's not Tristan Thompson, so. Was, right. uh... Um, I don't know who my celebrity crush was. Like, okay, like, growing up, like, I loved Tom Brady and I loved Derek Jeter. Like, those were my... I liked sports players more than I liked, like... Yeah, yeah I mean, like, Trey Songz is hot. But, like... He's hot. Yeah, but like I wouldn't say like, oh my god, like I'm obsessed with him or I watch everything around. Like, like some of the girls were like the BTS I, or the Jonas Brothers. They you just know who, yeah, you know what? You know who I always really loved was um, David Boreanaz, who he was Angel on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's in Bones. He's Navy Seal. He's uh, he's in Seal Team Six that show. Hmm. I, um, I don't know who that is, so I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, yeah, I was a Buffy fanatic when I was younger, but now I'm not really like, like if I met him, like I would probably be like, holy shit, like that's yeah. awesome. You know what I mean? But I don't think like, I wouldn't be someone that's like screaming, like celebrity struck. Yeah. There's, um, so guys, I, I always consider myself the underdog. Um, they, that's just a position that I love being in. So that quote, uh, was, uh, from, uh, Dumb and Dumber. You, never saw it. You never seen Dumb and Dumber? No. I know. My boyfriend's always yelling at me because he's like, oh, have you seen this movie? And I'm like, no. It's like based in Rhode like, Island, no. too. Yeah. I, uh, so anyways, there's a line in the movie where he goes, um, where he goes, do you think that we could ever be a thing together? Like, can Who's we... he say that to? To a girl. So oh. it's a girl. Okay. So he goes, can you ever think, like, you give me a shot? And she goes, she goes, um... What is, uh, something along the lines of, uh, I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> something along the lines of, um, it's one in a million shot, right? So it's supposed to be like a, a brush off, but then he goes, so you're telling me there's, there's a, a chance. chance. Oh, that's what that's from. Yeah, that's where that's from. That's from Dumb and Dumber. Huh. So okay. Jennifer Lawrence is married, has a kid, but got married in Rhode Island. So you're telling me there's a chance. There's a chance. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Listen, unfortunately, marriages fall apart. And sometimes we do not wish that upon no, you. No, we don't wish that. We absolutely, but sometimes things fall apart, so better things can come together. All and right, that, what's <laughs> what's your next rapid fire question? You whack job, <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. I love you. <laughs> um, what is something you can't believe still exists in twenty twenty two? Hold on, I know. Let's let's try to put a little water on that. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. you know, I'm going political with this yeah. one. Um, so I actually wrote down a couple things for myself. I said, I, I was watching the news, well, I was reading the news rather, and did you know that BlackBerry finally turned off their service like a day or two ago? I didn't know that they even made it this far. So that's something that I had no idea that still existed. <sighs> BBM me. I love guys. <laughs> and they actually, they, they did a study that people were addicted to the click sound of the buttons. Yeah. And that's absolutely. why people are addicted to the buttons. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, having to call someone 
to cancel something that you signed up for online. I hate that. You still have to do that when it comes to like cable or gym memberships, like all this stuff. No, gym memberships is worse. You have to write a letter. Yeah. A notarized letter yeah. to cancel a gym membership. And you have to also pay the extra with that. And you have to pay the extra three dollars to make sure that they received it because they they can also say, We never received it. We don't play it. What are you talking about? Um, and then another thing that I wrote down is I can't believe I just closed down my P.O. box and I couldn't believe the amount of junk mail that came in. Like it would be like, oh my God, people love me. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's just it's flyers. It's all flyers yeah. for real. Um, I'm going to have to go with house phones. Yeah. Still surprising that people have house phones and use them. I would like to have one though. Mm, I would not. It's mostly telemarketers. My parents have one. I think it's, it's all telemarketers. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I'll ever have a house phone. Um, you got to have it for like backup. And he, here's how they get you, you too, guys, is they bundle it all oh, together. I know. They're like, well, it's cheaper if you get the phone. Well, can I get it and just not hook it up? Yeah, exactly. So, and I think it's because what do I someone, someone told me back in the day why that is. It's, it has to do something with like the phone lines, like on the poles and... But it's good to have in case like the cell towers go down because this is an actual landline that can connect to somebody. But if you're trying to call someone a cell phone, you're not going to get through anyways. So the other person also has to have, have a landline if you're trying to connect. What? This coffee, like I needed like three of them apparently. Yeah. This one coffee didn't do much. So, all right, guys, we love you. Are we... We're not done yet. I oh, got to answer the, I got to answer that question that I said pass on. I passed on, um... Something that's hot that's not. What is something you cannot find hot or attractive no matter how hard you try? I'm going to have to go with... What's something that a guy or a girl... Stupidity. Just going deep. Just going deep. I was... And this is more... And this is more women. Women who dumb themselves down and think it's cute to be stupid. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. I see what you did there. Yeah. I got to go with that. Like, I'm sorry, but like a girl acting dumb or like, I'm, I'm clumsy. Like, I can be clumsy. Let's be real. But like a girl acting clumsy or pretending like she doesn't know how to do something or like whatever because like they think it's cute. Mm. That's not for me. Yeah. Also, Good I'm going to change my celebrity crush question. To? Cardi B. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Down below, you'll find links to not <laughs> only Lindsay's channel, but also uh, Rody Foodie's channel. Yeah, make sure you follow uh, Luby's. Um, uh, yo, my lips are so dry. <laughs> Stay, stay moisturized, people. You know what's funny is the other day I was putting on, I love Burt's Bees. Oh, yeah. And I was putting on Burt's Bees, and I noticed that my knuckle, I never get dry. I noticed my knuckle was white, and I was like, what the Yo, hell is ashy. that? Yeah, you got So I had to go like this. I was like, all right, let me just put some of that on there. Yeah, it works. It works, right? It's yeah. beeswax. Yeah, whatever. Um, um, but yeah, guys, uh, we're on our road to hitting 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you guys share this with everyone. Uh, you'll see these links in Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the whole shebang. Um, and tell us if you guys like the... Um Tell us if you guys like the broken up segments. I think that yeah. the I think the check in and the random questions, the life questions, is pretty cool. And then we can kind of um, have like one topic for the middle. Yeah. Let us know what you think because we're trying to, you know, we're ten we're only we're ten episodes in. We're still trying to figure all this out. So. Yeah. We we're 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 still trying to adult. Adults are hard. Oh my god. Yeah. We appreciate everybody that's been watching though. How do you get a refund um, on this? Adult and I want to shout out. I want to shout out the guy that I met at the grocery store, Zach, who was like, hey, do you have a podcast? Oh, Zachy. I was like, hey, yes, I do. Um, and he is that a was friend's our, neighbor. That was our first fan, and she, like, texted me right away. I was like, yes. I was so pumped about that. Like, people are like, oh, it's the news girl. And I'm like, man. People are like, oh, don't you have a podcast? I'm like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time someone was like, Rody Foodie. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That's pretty That's awesome. So cool, but uh, you, know, you have to play everybody like, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty awesome. So, um, so shout out to Zach. Thanks so much. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, we're almost at one thousand. Yeah. That's gonna be pretty big. In there. And I think we'll do. It's the year. Um, 
Yeah, I think once we hit 1,000, we're gonna do something special. But I don't know yet. Yeah, but I think we'll probably do a live. Um, but again, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna try to talk to uh, Timothy Ward, and we'll be looking to getting some uh, some extra guests uh, for the year. And if you guys have any topics that you'd like us to cover or talk about, or if you have any uh, questions yourselves, we'd love to do a dedicated Lupe. Lupe. <laughs> We'd love to do a dedicated... The cat trying to get in the cabinets. <laughs> where the food is. Um, we will do a dedicated Q&A too. Okay, yeah. guys? All right. I almost said be well, eat well. We need a tagline. I know. And don't forget, write this down.